welcome to the Idea Space Podcast. I'm your host, Jen Liddy. And where, when I'm recording this, it's, it's finally the end of February. And somehow this month has managed to both crawl along and fly by. I'm not sure how that happened, but the days were very long for such a short month. The weather, the storms, the drama, the news, the pandemic, we are dragging ourselves across the finish line each day. That's what I'm finding with my clients, my friends, myself, (laughs) apparently unless you live in Australia, because I have several friends who live in Australia right now, and their lives look absolutely glorious to me. But anyway, today I'm talking about a topic that I'm hearing is a necessity because of the overexhaustion that we're experiencing. I'm talking today about streamlining and creating more ease because we're all even too exhausted for chit chat with each other, for connecting with the people we love and like, much less the people who tax us, right? We have no capacity to even return tax or have an extra meeting in a week. Last week, I saw it in my clients during some one-on-one calls inside my new membership, the Content Creator Studio. And every single one of them in these one-on-one calls scrunched up her nose or covered her face or groaned audibly when I asked, have you poked around inside the membership site? So I'm doing these one-on-one onboarding calls with every new Content Creator Studio member to make sure that they don't get lost because memberships are notorious for overwhelm and confusion. They can be like a labyrinth of trainings and information, recordings, PDFs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So almost everyone I gave, I spoke to gave me some version of like, oh, I just haven't gotten back in there yet. I did your first training and now I'm focused on that for right now. And you might be wondering how that made me feel, how it made me feel to hear that they're, they're saying they haven't poked around back in there. They, they got what they needed and they didn't come back yet. And honestly, it made me feel thrilled because that's the best answer I've heard. Why? Well, number one, every single one of them was honoring what she needed. And I got to applaud her in these one-on-ones and help her not feel shame around the fact that she was doing what she needed to do. The second thing about this is if you've ever put a program together or a course or a workshop or any type of training or membership you have probably had a boatload of information to share with your people because you know that your audience has so much to learn about the thing that you're an expert in. And so maybe when you created that program or that training, you threw everything in from the spice rack to the recipe thinking more is better. And I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again, more is not better. More is simply more. And people are overwhelmed by more. And in conversations with my new members, I relearned that lesson. They don't need more. They need what they need. They told me that they had taken the monthly bite-sized training and dived in and took action. And some had done a few additional quick start trainings because they had had the capacity to do it. But in 15 minutes together, every single one got clarity on what her just right next step is. I think the mistake we're making is we think we're making life easier for our people, whether that's the people that you know we live with and love or in our community or our employees or even our clients, our audience members. We think we, we're making life easier for them when we do more, give more, offer more. But I want to I wanna break this down into an example to show you how that really works. I want you to imagine that you got your act together and you're hiring a photographer for a family photo shoot. Like, why not capture the ridiculousness of 2021 so far with some high quality photos, right? And in order to do this, you've already had to figure out which of the many, many, many talented photographers who've been referred to you, which one to hire. Uh, you've had to figure out which which outfits we'll wear. Should we be matchy matchy? Should we be Instagram tasteful? Should we go crazy and let everybody wear what they want to wear? And then you've also had to decide, okay, which venue is safe for shooting um, together, Uh, beautiful, but also, hello, February weatherproof. There's a lot of decisions. And getting this far is just the tip of the decision-making iceberg for you, just to get photos done, right? And maybe by the time you get to this shoot, you're exhausted and your kids were a total pain in the ass. Maybe you had a cranky, cranky toddler or a sulky teenager. And then imagine like right now, where you are right now, almost a year into COVID, how exhausting simply this would be. Okay. So you get it, right? I painted the picture. Now, 
imagine that the amazing photographer you hired took hundreds of photos and she has edited them and culled them down, but now she has 367 photos for you to look at. You have to look through these. You have to decide which ones to buy, which ones to print, publish on Instagram maybe, or even have framed. And remember, the photos have been curated and edited, so they all look good. How do you decide? Do you have the time and energy to look through 367 photos? The photographer may have thought that she was doing you a favor by giving you all the options, but it's so depleting. Nobody makes your life easier by giving you all the options. Now, all month I've been asking you, how can you make your life easier? And now I'm asking you, how can we create a double win by making our clients and our customers' lives easier? So I wanted to talk to you today to give you permission to just stop recreating the wheel, whatever you're doing, stop recreating the wheel. What can you repurpose? What can you reuse? What can you give a little fluff and keep relevant, but but stop over-generating because I'm betting that that's wearing you down. So when we're talking about content, not recreating everything is really important. Not overgenerating is vital. Believe me, your audience hasn't seen or heard everything that you've created anyway. And if they did, I'm 100% sure that they need the reminder of whatever gem you're about to drop. So really, I want you to start thinking about where you can not only make your life easier, which is what I've been talking about all month, but where can you make your audience's lives easier? Are you over offering in your programs? Are you over giving to your clients? Are you giving them too much that they feel weighed down? Do you have too many products in your digital suite that that cause people to say, I don't know which one to choose? People get very overwhelmed with too much. And so I just want you to start thinking about where can you scale back a little bit? And that's all I want you to do this week is really think about where can you scale back, stop overgiving, overdoing, overbeing, overpromising. Where are you overpromising? And I wanted to just mention one more thing to make this easy for you. I am closing entry to the Content Creators Studio, which I launched at the end of January. It's now at the $37 a month founder's price, but I'm closing it on March 21st. I've been doing a soft launch, been figuring out how to do it my way without overdoing. Because after March 21st, what I'm going to do is take a lot of time to focus on serving the founders who are already inside and tweaking what works and what doesn't. That's how I'm making my life easier. And actually, it's how I'm making my clients' lives easier. Because imagine if I just kept piling people in to the membership, what a drain it would be, not only on me, but on them, because I'm still figuring things out in there. So I'm going to fluff it up in there and get rid of what doesn't work. And when it does come back in a few months, it will absolutely be at a higher price point because I promise you the stuff in there is is really good. We're having an amazing experience so far. So if you've been curious how to make your content creation easier, or you've been wanting to work together, but been unable to invest at a higher price. And also I'm, I'm, I'm full right now anyway, through mid April, this is the time to join us in the founder membership. It's $37 a month. You get your one-on-one onboarding call too, and four chances a month for live support. There's trainings, but mostly everything is all about keeping you out of overwhelm. I would love to have you join us. If you go to jenliddy.com forward slash studio, you can find out a little bit more about it. I haven't done a fancy sales page yet because again, I've been really trying to make this easy and fun for myself. I would love to see you inside the founders membership at jenliddy.com forward slash studio. Now, the one the one last thing I'd like to say to you is I know that you feel that you need to keep overgiving to prove your value, but when you consider it from the other side, from the people that from that moment where you got those 367 photos and that photographer thought she was really doing you a favor and they just sat in your inbox because you couldn't even open the gallery because it just felt so overwhelming. I want you to think about that. I want you to think about your audience doesn't need more. Your audience just needs some streamlined better. And that's all you have to give them. And how can you do that this week? I so hope you found this helpful. I'm really doing this work myself. I'm not speaking from the pulpit. I'm really speaking from in the pews, really trying to do this work myself. And I hope this was helpful today. I will see you next week. We are moving into March and I have a whole new theme to talk about next March about how to do it all your way. See you next time. Bye-bye.